Welcome back, Michael KC9PHK here with 59 Radio presenting the 2022 to 2026 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool. If you're joining us for the first time, make sure that you go back and review the previous videos. This is just one sub element of the about 10 sub elements that are available. All those videos have been previously released, so this is closer to the end of the sub elements that we're covering. If you already are following us, make sure you turn the notification bell on on YouTube so that you get new updates as we release new videos. Make sure you give us a like, leave your comments and questions. We'll try to answer those as we can. So again, this covers the technician class examinations in the United States starting July the 1st of 2022 and goes until June the 30th of 2026. Sub-element T8 we're covering today, signals and emissions. Four exam questions come from the four groups. T8A, basic characteristics of FM and SSB, bandwidth of various modulation modes, CW, SSB, FM, fast scan TV, choice of emission type, selection of USB versus LSB, use of SSB for weak signal work, use of FM for VHF packet and repeaters. T8A01, which of the following is a form of amplitude modulation? That answer is C, single sideband. T8A02, what type of modulation is commonly used for VHF packet radio transmission? That answer is A, FM or PM. T8A03, which type of voice mode is often used for long distance weak signal contacts on the VHF and UHF bands? That is C, SSB, or single sideband. T8A04, which type of modulation is commonly used for VHF and UHF voice repeaters? That answer is D, FM, or PM. T8A05, which of the following types of signal has the narrowest bandwidth? That answer is C, CW, also known as Morse code. T8A06, which sideband is normally used for 10 meter HF, VHF, and UHF single sideband communications? That answer is A, upper sideband. T8A07, what is a characteristic of single sideband compared to FM? That is C, SSB signals have a narrower bandwidth. T8A08, what is the approximate bandwidth of a typical single sideband voice signal? That answer is B, 3 kilohertz. T8A09, what is the approximate bandwidth of a VHF repeater FM voice signal? That answer is C, between 10 and 15 kilohertz. T8A10, what is the approximate bandwidth of AM fast scan TV transmissions? That answer is going to be B, about 6 megahertz. T8A11, what is the approximate bandwidth required to transmit a CW signal? 150 hertz. 150 hertz. T8A12, what is, which of the following is an, a disadvantage of FM compared with single sideband? The answer is B, only one signal can be received at a time. T8B covers amateur satellite operation Doppler shift, basic orbits, operating protocols, modulation mode selection, transmitter power considerations, telemetry and telecommand, satellite tracking programs, beacons, uplink and downlink mode definitions, spin fading, definition of LEO, and setting uplink power. T8B01, what telemetry information is typically transmitted by satellite beacons? That would be the health and status of the satellite. T8B02, what is the impact of using excessive effective radiated power on a satellite uplink? You are blocking access by other users. T8B03, which of the following are provided by satellite tracking programs? That answer is D. All of these choices are correct, which is maps showing the real-time position of the satellite track over Earth. B. The time azimuth and elevation of the start, maximum altitude, and end of a pass, and the apparent frequency 
of the satellite transmission, including the effects of Doppler shift. T8B04, what mode of transmission is commonly used by amateur radio satellites? That is SSB, FM, or CW and data. So all of these choices are correct. T8B05, what is a satellite beacon? That answer is a transmission from a satellite that contains status information. T8B06, which of the following are inputs to a satellite tracking program? And that is the Keplerian elements. T8B07, what is the Doppler shift in reference to satellite communications? That is C, an observed change in signal frequency caused by relative motion between the satellite and Earth station. T8B08, what is meant by the statement that the satellite is operating in UV mode? The satellite uplink is in the 70 centimeter band and the downlink is in the 2 meter band. T8B09, what causes spin fading of satellite signals? That is the rotation of the satellite and its antennas. T8B10, what is a LEO satellite? A satellite in low Earth orbit. LEO means low Earth orbit. T8B11, who may receive telemetry from a space station? The answer is anyone. T8B12, which of the following is a way to determine whether your satellite uplink power is neither too low nor too high? That answer is your signal strength on the downlink should be about the same as the beacon. T8C, operating activities, radio direction, finding contests, linking over the internet, and exchanging grid locators. T8C01, which of the following methods is used to locate sources of noise, interference, or jamming? Radio direction finding, also called fox hunting. T8C02, which of these items would be useful for a hidden transmitter hunt? A directional antenna. T8C03, which, what operating practice involves contacting as many stations as possible during a specified period? And that is contesting. T8C04, which of the following is a good procedure when contacting another station in a contest? Send only the minimum information needed for proper identification and the contest exchange. T8C05, what is a grid locator? A grid locator is a letter number designator assigned to a geographic location. T8C06, how is over-the-air access to IRLP nodes accomplished? And that answer is by using DTMF signals. T8C07, what is voice over internet protocol, VoIP? That is a method of delivering voice communications over the internet using digital techniques. T8C08, what is the Internet Radio Linking Project, IRLP? A technique to connect amateur radio systems such as repeaters via the Internet using voice over Internet protocol. T8C09, which of the following protocols enables an amateur station to transmit through a repeater without using a radio to initiate the transmission? That answer is D, Echo Link. T8C10, what is required before using the Echolink system? You must register your call sign and provide proof of license. T8C11, what is an amateur radio station that connects other amateur stations to the internet? A gateway, a gateway. T8D covers non-voice and digital communications, image signals, and the definition of NTSC, CW, packet radio, PSK, APRS, error detection and correction, amateur radio networking, digital mobile radio, WSJT modes, and a broadband hamnet. T8D01, which of the following is a digital communications mode? And all of these are, so packet radio, IEEE 802.11, and FT8 are all digital modes. T8D02, what is a talk group on a digital repeater? It's a way for groups of users to share a channel at the same time without hearing other users on the channel. T8D03, what kind of data can be transmitted by APRS? And all of these are correct, so you get GPS position data, data text messages, and weather data. T8D04, what type of transmission is indicated by the term NTSC? That's going to be an analog fast scan color TV signal. 
T8D05, which of the following is an application of APRS, providing real-time tactical digital communication in conjunction with a map showing the locations of stations. T8D06, what does the abbreviation PSK mean? Phase shift keying, phase shift keying. T8D07, which of the following describes DMR? DMR is a technique for time multiplexing two digital voice signals on a single 12.5 kHz repeater channel. T8D08, which of the following is included in packet radio transmissions? All of the above. So a checksum that permits error detection, a header that contains the call sign of the station to which the information is being sent, and automatic repeat request in case of error. T8D09, what is CW? CW is another name for Morse code transmission. T8D10, which of the following operating activities is supported by digital mode software in the WSJT-X software suite? That is Earth, Moon, Earth, Weak Signal Propagation Beacons, and Meteor Scatter, all of the above. T8D11, what is an ARQ transmission system? An error correction method in which the receiving station detects errors and sends the request for retransmission. T8D12, which of the following best describes an amateur radio mesh network? An amateur radio based network, data network using commercial Wi Fi equipment with modified firmware. T8D13, what is FT8? FT8 is a digital mode capable of a low signal to noise operation. All right, we're going to stop this video now. I'm going to uh, break these down into some small, smaller videos. So thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like us, follow us, and uh, subscribe. We'll release T9 and T0 shortly after this video. Thanks again.